One day removed from a 30-point win in the NEC semifinals, we're joined by Bryant head coach Jared Grasso. One win away now from the program's first trip to the NCAA tournament, but I want to take us back one day, Jared. What impressed you most in your NEC semifinal win, one that was resounding and one that was only with seven players? Just our team's resolve. You know, obviously it was a tough week, not knowing who was going to be playing. There was a point we didn't know if we were going to be able to play or if we were going to have enough guys. And our guys just coming out with such a competitiveness and such a grit and playing so hard for 40 minutes through fatigue. You know, those guys played a lot of minutes and just kept fighting, kept competing, kept defending and rebounding. So our toughness and our grittiness, and that's what our program's all about. We're a blue-collar program, and I think that showed on, uh, on Saturday. Despite just seven players and an undermanned roster, you told us before the game, though, you had enough to play the style you wanted. Why were you so confident in that? I like my team. I said it from jump. I think we have tough, competitive kids, and their mindset is, like, for those guys, it's we just want to play. You know, we're going to compete. We're going to fight. We're going to scrap. We're going to claw. We're going to find a way to win. And they, they just know no other way. So that's the great thing about my group is, it didn't scare them that they might have to they're excited they can play 40 minutes you know those guys like coming in if i told you you play 40 minutes in the semifinals to go to the ncaa tournament they all would have signed up for it so those kids were excited about the opportunity and they stepped up to the plate in a big time uh, big time game so i think that's what my guys are all about and i think it's kind of what we tried to build in the culture in this program one of those guys pawtucket native shea high school alum erickson bands the all-time leading scorer in high school basketball here in the state of Rhode Island. You were the only Division I coach to give him an offer. What did you see in him then, and why was he ready for the moment yesterday? He's tough, and, and he doesn't back down from anything. And I told him yesterday, I said, you scored 2,500 points in high school. You had 50-point games with teams playing box of one and triangle of two and trapping you and denying you the ball. I said, you're as good as anybody on the floor. Just go be that guy. And it, He's been challenged by really good players all year. We have good guards, and it's been a growing process for him, and he's matured and learned throughout the year. But if circumstances were different. If he was on my team year one, he would have averaged 14 points a game. He would have been rookie of the year in the league. He's just playing behind good players, which is you get better from it. And in this circumstance, you could see every day he's going up against guys who are either are or are good enough to be all league players in the NEC. So you continue to improve. And because of all that work, he was able to perform the way he did on Saturday. Thursday morning, it's about 6.37 in the morning. My dog wakes me up. I got to go take him outside to go to the bathroom. But I, I flip open Twitter and I see you tweeting the lyrics to One Shining Moment. Jared, for you, One Shining Moment, what would the moment mean Tuesday night for you first time as a head coach in your program to take them dancing and cut down the nets? Listen, of course, every season starts and that's your goal. Um, and I've been blessed enough to, to coach in NCAA tournaments and as a player, I was one game away, which has always given me a chip on my shoulder to want to get there, and both as an assistant and, and as a head coach. And uh, there's nothing better. I tell those guys it's something you remember for the rest of your life. And I told them before today's game, for better or for worse, they were going to remember this game for the rest of their lives. The game where we were down to six scholarship players, and you know everyone counted us out and didn't think we were going to be able to uh, to compete, and we found a way to win. And then on Tuesday, it's going to be the same. You know, you're playing for everything, you're playing for your childhood dream, and. We have a lot of guys who put a lot of work to get to this point, fought through injuries and fought through different things and COVID and pauses and all these different things that happened this year. So uh, our, I know our guys will be excited to play on Tuesday, and I know they can be prepared. Bryant, 15 and 5, 40 minutes away from the NCAA tournament. You can catch the NEC championship game live Tuesday night, 7 o'clock on ESPN2. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Gordon.